Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on motion graphics. It's Nadia here from Blue Sky Graphics and today I would like to show you how to animate the blur and fade in effect from the effects and presets panel using text. Let's begin. I'll begin by creating a new composition. I do this by clicking on new composition. I have a HDTV 29 frames per second 10 seconds composition and I have the background for my composition as a bright yellow. Then I want to create a text. So I select the text tool from the toolbar and begin typing my desired text. I will type blue sky graphics. Feel free to type whatever you like. I'll then select the selection tool and position my text where I want the final animation to appear. I then make sure the time indicator is at the beginning of time, as this is where I want the effect animation keyframes to be added. I then head over to the effects and presets panel and type in blur and fade in. I left click on the effect, hold and drag and drop on top of my text like so. The effect has been added and we can see the effects on the effects control on the left. Feel free to play with this setting as you can slightly tweak the appearance of your animation as required. In order to see the keyframes, I select the text layer and click U, the shortcut to view all keyframes. The effect has already added some keyframes for us and we can click on the space bar to view the animation. We can select the last keyframe and move it in time in order to slow or speed the animation as required. To smooth the animation, I select the keyframes, right click on the mouse, keyframe assistant, easy ease. Next, I want to create an exit animation. So I select the keyframes, go to edit, copy, then I move the time indicator to about four seconds, go to edit, paste. Finally, I want to revert the last two keyframes by selecting the keyframes. Right click on the mouse, keyframe assistance, time reverse keyframes. Hit the space bar to preview it. And there we have it. A text animation using the blur and fade in effects from the effects and presets panel. Feel free to play with this effect and don't forget to have fun. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. See you in the next tutorial.